Thank you, Robert. And with those temperatures, we're getting closer and closer to pool season, but the city is again struggle, struggling to hire lifeguards. Our KTSM and 9 News reporter Tawny Davis talked to the city officials about how they're encouraging more people to sign up for the job. She joins us live in studio now. Good evening, Tawny. Good evening, Carla. Amy Wheeler with the El Paso's Park and Recreation and Sports Department tells me that the city is still trying to fill those vacancies left by the lack of lifeguards. Even so, she says parents do not need to worry if they want to take their kids to the pool this season. With only 130 lifeguards currently on staff, the city still needs 50 to be able to open up the pools for this season. While they are currently working with the new wave of lifeguards coming in, there will be some adjustments to pool hours. It's a possibility that we may not be able to increase the hours that we have right now if we do not get enough lifeguards to add more recreational time or to uh, increase the number of people that can come in in the summertime. Lifeguard instruction is still underway with the city City making sure that those who are on staff are well trained. Bryson Hugh, who is originally from Hawaii and has been a lifeguard for over six years, is hoping to bring in his expertise to the borderland. Uh, that was uh, another reason why I wanted to uh, join the city of El Paso. Uh, I feel like, honestly, I can make a difference. You know, we start off small and then hopefully we can have everybody on the same page. Even with the low numbers, Wheeler does want to reassure families who frequent city pools that whichever ones they are at will be well monitored. In this particular environment, we have more lifeguards that need to be on stand due to the environment and the blind spots that you see. So um, as long as the participants notice that the lifeguards are actually on chair or in their designated areas, this kind of put them at ease. The city is offering incentives to new applicants for lifeguards, and if you want more information on that, you can find it on our website, ktsm.com. Reporting live in studio, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News.